Hey guys, welcome back to my brand new channel. My first videos were about some pretty hard decision, you know, especially when you are uh, in, a beginner uh, in painting and you don't even know what media you should use or uh, what to buy and where to buy it and you just go to an art shop and there you spend a lot of money for every kind of stuff that you probably you don't even need such a good quality stuff um, and um, in my previous two videos I talked about how to choose a canvas and stretcher bars and then um, uh, I talked about different paints uh, and uh, where to get them and stuff and did uh, put these uh, videos uh, to a playlist so you can check them uh, easily and uh, today I will talk about palettes and painting knives Choosing your palette and painting knives uh, for painting with oil and acrylic is a very personal decision and you will probably try out um, more options till you find the ones uh, suit you. Whatever kind of palette you choose, it has to be clean and it's not supposed to absorb the paint. I like to use different size of glasses as palettes because they provide lots of space to mix and spread the paint and it's easy to clean them with a paint scraper but glass palette is not a good option when you need to stay in move. Plastic and wooden palettes are more handy but it's harder to clean them well. Some tips here always clean your palette when you are done with work. Don't leave multiple layers of paint on your palette. It makes your colors messy, your working process less organized, and you can even waste paint. If you have a bigger amount of paint on your palette, form it to a mound or a mounds and cover it well with a plastic wrap, um, especially if you work with oil. So do you know the feeling uh, when you are at a fancy restaurant with different kinds of forks in front of you? Well, painting knives are just as confusing. There are painting knives for artists who like to create uh, special surfaces on the canvas with painting knives and some knives are simply for mixing the paint. Choose a small and a medium knife with V shape and after a while you will figure out what you need. Like you will think, hmm, a longer or bigger or wider knife would make this easier for me. If you are not a kid, don't buy plastic painting knives. Good quality and the right flexibility is quite important here. Always keep your knives clean and dry after use. If you don't want uh, roast and uh, dirt uh, in your paint at the next use. To learn how to make the perfect palette ready and how to use painting knives, stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and ring uh, the bell for notifications because I will post a video about this soon. If you cannot wait and want help now, uh, get in touch with me for personalized online lessons. For early access to my videos, uh, support me on Patreon. Thank you!